All green lights, everything's a go Money on the table, count it real slow Pull up that rosé, twist up that Cali drove When you hustle hard, no matter what is the info what it do, see some doulas. It's your boy Wild Jim Blog TV coming straight out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Now I'm moving on to the AFC. I'm done with the NFC. Now I'm moving on to the AFC. And first off, I'm going to talk about the AFC North. Now, the AFC North, this division so far has one of the best rookie classes. Um, this division is loaded with rookies expected to make a splash early. You know, let's start with the Ravens, who may start two rookies on defense. Safety Matt Elam. And linebacker Arthur Brown, because we know the Baltimore Ravens, they lost so many people on defense, either from retirement or just, you know, moving on to bigger and better situations. So they're going to need players in to step up and fulfill that role of, you know, Ray Lewis and Reed. Um, now, the Browns, they're counting on rookie linebacker uh, Bartavius Mingo, the number six overall pick, um, you know, to become an elite pass rusher. Rookie running back Levon Bell could be referred to. You know, be, be a future back for the Pittsburgh Steelers because since they don't have Mendenhall no more. Um, and while the Bengals drafted the tight end Tyler Effrick, I believe that's how you say his name, you know, in the first round, excuse me, more attention has been focused on the second round running back, Giovanni Bernard. I think he came from North Carolina, if I'm not mistaken. The Bengals believe Bernard can be similar to Ray Rice for the Ravens, dangerous on both as a runner and a receiver. Now, that is true because I watched some of this um, footage um, on YouTube, and the boy can catch the ball. And he can run, kind of like I said, pretty much kind of like a Ray Lewis. I mean, not Ray Lewis, Ray Rice. Sorry about that. Um, Now, the best, you know, of course, you know, who's going to be that the best set of defenses? You know, who's going to be that, that that team? It's going to be the Ravens. It's going to be the Steelers. Because we all know over the years, those two teams are always known to be the best defensive teams in their divisions. Um, You know, I, I actually feel like, you know, it's crazy because even though the Steelers didn't do that great, but they were still ranked the number one defense, you know, overall in the NFL last season. That's crazy. I know a lot of people was thinking, like, I, I was shocked when I saw that. Like, what? You know, while the Bengals was ranked number six um, with the additions of Elvis Dumerville, Michael Huff, Chris Canty, Marcus Spears, Daryl Smith, Elam, and Brown, the Ravens believe, you know, of course they are going to be deeper and better. You know, defensively, and while the Browns may have trouble scoring, their defense is legit. So the so the AFC honestly have four great defenses out of all the teams I just mentioned. You know, Ravens, Steelers, Bengals, um, and the Browns. I mean, they're loaded. De those defenses are going to be up there in the top ten for sure. I guarantee you guys. Um, of course, you know the biggest questions. Sorry about that. The biggest questions. Um, are the Steelers still contenders? You know, the Steelers haven't missed the playoffs um, two years in a, in a row since, since the 90s when they led a three-year drought from 98 to 2000. Um, when they had a three-year drought from 98 to 2000 was the last year. Was last year, and then they went 8-8. Eight and eight. I said that all wrong, guys. I'm so damn sorry. But anyway... Are the beginning, you know, is this the decline of the Pittsburgh Steelers? I don't think so. I think Ben Roethlisberger and that defense, those guys will bounce back. You have Mike Tomlin as the head coach. I just feel like they will get back on track to get things going. Um, you know, Ben Roethlisberger, he even said he, feel, he feels younger, you know, and after offseason knee surgery and was motivated watching the rivals Ravens win the Super Bowl. Um, but the Steelers, you know, they must prove they are better than the third best team in their in this division. Um, now, Cincinnati Bengals, you know, biggest question, can the Bengals, you know, be more than a wild card team? Past two seasons have, have ended the same way with the Cincinnati Bengals, you know. They make the playoff, lose in the first round, and blah, 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 blah. They just can't seem to get over the hump, you know, every time they get in the playoffs. You know, the, the you know, you expect, the Bengals expect more, like a division title. Andy Dalton has another year of experience as a starting quarterback. A.J. Green is one of the you know, one of the NFL best wide receivers and the big defense is solid. This this division should come down to week seventeen, Ravens at Bengals, December twenty ninth. So, um, you know, I feel like only team I don't feel like making them some big noise is of course the Cleveland Browns. Yes, they have Trent Richardson. They need more help. You know, he needs more help. He can't be that workload of a guy all the time. You know, I love Brandon Wheaton, but they still just need more weapons. Um, the defense, like I said, is solid, and they just got um, 
Paul Kruger from the from the Cleveland from the Baltimore Ravens. So the defense is going to be pretty damn solid. All these teams' defenses are going to be solid. Um, Bengals. Andy Dalton has to step up, be more consistent as a quarterback, better accuracy. You have you have wide receivers. You have a nice offense. Um, Baltimore Ravens. Of course, you have Joe Flacco. You have Ray Rice. Who's going to place Andrew uh, um, Anquan Bowden? Well, you still have Smith, Troy Smith, and you still have. Um, Jacoby Jones. <laughs> you still have Jacoby Jones. Pittsburgh, Ben Roethlisberger still have that defense, even though they're not the same. But I mean, you know, actually, they they was ranked number one, so they was great. The defense was great. Um, so it's going to be a tough, tough division. But this is how I, I have the Baltimore Ravens finishing first, then the um, Bengals, and then the Steelers, and then the Browns. If you guys think different, please let me know. Tell me what you think. Hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on Facebook. Comment, subscribe, favorite, like, share. And if you guys wonder why the hell I blink a lot, I don't know. I just blink a lot sometimes. I try not to. And you guys remember, I have a light right in my face. I don't have the best of webcam. Because a lot of people have been thinking, hey, well, guy, he blinks a lot. Hey, man, when you got this damn hot light in your face, you tell me what you're going to do. Anyway, guys, I'm about to, I'm about to get out of here. Deuces. And remember, guys and girls, make sure you click the subscribe button, watch the previous videos, and like the videos.